Hey, you made it. And in one piece, no less. Welcome to the kingdom of yours truly. Uh, mi casa es su casa, as they say in Spanish, I think. But seriously, uh, thanks for coming over. I know having a home date is a pretty big step for us. But thank you for being comfortable enough with me to take it. Now come on. Uh, the popcorn's nearly ready, and I have the whole Cornetta trilogy on standby, ready to be marathoned. Well, of course we're marathoning it. We don't just watch one Cornetto movie without watching the rest of them. Not in this house. It's the law. A law I made up. Just now. Okay, you got me. It's not strictly a legal requirement. But once I get it cross-stitched into an embroidery hoop, it'll be terribly rude not to do it. Oh, where are my manners, actually? Uh, did you want anything to drink? Uh, coffee? Tea? Wine, perhaps? <laughs> sure thing. Feel free to make yourself comfortable. Uh, just make sure you leave a little bit of space for me. Like, a floor pillow, at the very least. You may be the guest, but I'm at least entitled to some of the luxuries I paid for. It costs good money to get a comfy reclining couch like that. Oh yeah, it reclines. Those two buttons on the side there. Yeah, those two. Give them a shot. Oh, the corn has been popped. Did you want a separate bowl, or have you got your cooties shot this season? You got it. Here you go. Here's your accoutrement. Uh, I'll just squeeze in right here. Yep. There we go. Now, where's that remote? I swear I had it somewhere. Ah, found it. I was sitting on it. Um, a quick question before we start. Um, did you want to maybe cuddle while we're watching the movie? You don't have to, obviously. I just sort of wanted to gauge your comfort level and, you know, ask beforehand. Oh, sure thing. I'll just sit up here a bit anyway. Um, there we go. Shall we commence? Very well. Let the show begin. <sighs> yep. Sure, and it's still as good as I remember. Oh, what did you think? Oh, absolutely. I'm glad we agree on that. Yeah, sorry you couldn't hear all the dialogue the whole time. But the thing is, if I don't quote it word for word, they're going to take away my nerd license. Again. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's uh, one down. Two more to go. Next up in the trilogy would be... Ooh, Hot Fuzz. My personal favourite. Uh, you want a refill? Because I want to grab some chocolate from the fridge anyway. Oh, do you want some chocolate as well? Roger that. This is the refill crew. Moving out. You can put on hot fuzz while I sort this out if you want. Hop, two, three, four, hop, two, three, four, hop. Hmm? What's up? Is the intent being slow? Yeah, it does that sometimes. Usually when everyone else in the complex is also using it. Give it a couple minutes or so and it should speed up again. I wonder if now's actually be a good time. Oh, nothing. Just think out loud. Oh, good. Where's that chocolate? Ew, I really need to clean this thing up tomorrow. Gross. Hmm? Oh, you didn't hear anything, right? Great, thanks for not hearing anything. That was a close one. Phew. Ah, here it is. Refill Squadron is back in, reporting for duty. Here you go. Your delivery. Of all the days I could have picked. Unbelievable. It's never usually this bad. Oh my goodness. So, how's your week been? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh-huh. Never a dull day for you, is there? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm alright. Nothing too much really. I spent most of my day cleaning up. I don't really have company over often, hence the 
very minimalist home theatre setup. Yeah, if this TV were any smaller, I'd be better off replacing it with one of those old CRTs. It would add to the experience, though. And it would probably fit in better with this decades-old furniture. But, you know what? This TV displays pictures and videos sometimes, so you know what? It works for now. <laughs> Actually, while we're not distracted, can we maybe discuss something? Oh god, questions like that never sound fun. Okay, look, I promise everything's all good. I just want to talk one-on-one -on -one a bit. Would that be okay? What about... Uh, well... We've been dating for a few months now, and... Um... I... I really like you. Genuinely. You're really nice and so fun to be around. And I always have a blast on our dates, you know. I really feel comfortable and at ease around you. That's... That's why I kind of wanted to talk about where we want to go from here. I guess, specifically, I thought it might be a good idea to start discussing our personal boundaries? If you're comfortable with that, that is. If you're not ready, that's perfectly fine. All good. Hmm? Oh? You'd be okay with that? Ah, great. Okay. Um... Where to start? Hmm. Okay, let's start with something really simple. Something smallish. How about this? How do you feel about pet names? Like, just in general. Like, being called pet names, calling someone pet names. You know, like, babe, or honey, or sweetie, or darling, that sort of stuff. No judgement, obviously. If you do like them, that's perfectly fine. But if you don't feel comfortable with them, that's fine too. The last thing I want to do is make you uncomfortable. You know, relationships are a two-way street. Even if I'm okay with something, that doesn't mean you have to be. And vice versa, obviously. But, anyway. Uh, would you be okay with telling me how you feel? About those sorts of, like, nicknames and stuff? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Alrighty. I'll, um, I'll make a mental note of that, then. Pin it right to my brain desktop. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff here, actually. I should probably do some spring cleaning sometime. I'll put it right about... There. Perfect. Oh, and full transparency, I am perfectly fine with pet names and stuff. Uh, the more creative or embarrassing, the better. So, if you want to, do your worst. <laughs> um, okay. We're off to a good start. Uh, you at least know the kind of questions I'm wanting to ask now. That should take away some of the dread. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of another thing we could discuss. Uh, give me a sec. Um, oh! How about... How do you feel about physical interaction and, like, physical intimacy and stuff? I could potentially guess a baseline level from before when I asked to cuddle, but hey, I know how boundaries work. Can be changed at any time, for any reason. With proper communication, that is perfectly healthy. I will just state outright that I'm pretty well 100% okay with it. Like, you could suplex me into this couch and I'd probably say thank you. I'd like to see you try though. Actually, you know what? I think you could probably manage if you put your mind to it. Yeah, put those guns to good use. Anyway, um, uh, well, physical intimacy, that's what we were talking about, right. Uh, would you be comfortable telling me how you feel about that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Yeah, all good. Thank you for being honest about it. I, I get it. It's hard and soft limits. I will respect that, obviously. That's how it works. Oh, I really feel like grabbing a clipboard and putting on, like, a movie therapist voice and going, you know, I think we've made some excellent progress today. Because, like, I mean, yeah, we have. It's really great to see. I mean, it can be really difficult and, like, really scary to have these kinds of conversations. So, I'm glad we're able to do it like civilized adults. Well, a civilized adult and me. 
basically impossible for me not to goof off, even in these sorts of situations. Call it being a goofy person, call it a coping mechanism, call it whatever. I guess it's just further proof that I feel really relaxed around you. Or, well, the opposite of relaxed, I suppose. <laughs> um, how about we do one more? Just so we can, well, A, fully make sure we're on the same page, and uh, B, get back to watching the movie, because it finished buffering ages ago. <laughs> Would that be okay with you? Okay, alright. Um, you know what? Your turn. <laughs> um, are there any sorts of boundaries or limits or anything you wanted to ask me about? Anything you're comfortable with that you want to ask about for me? Because, if so, go right ahead. I promise I'll be tactfully honest. Cross my heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could, could you elaborate a bit? Like, just so we're absolutely sure we're on the same wavelength. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thankfully, I'd say that's within my comfort zone. I see why you asked, um, but for sure, yeah, that's uh, fine by me. Uh, thank you for checking with me, though. So, we're both okay with that, then? Excellent. The deal is done. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm really glad we were able to do this. this The movie night and the boundaries stuff. I'm glad we're both emotionally mature enough to talk honestly about this kind of stuff. You know, some people go through entire marriages without even mentioning it. That's really scary to me that, like, total lack of communication and, like, trust. But we don't need to worry about that. That's other people, not us. But thank you again for sticking it out with me for this long. I... I really like you, and that's why I want you to feel as comfortable and safe as possible around me. Hopefully I'm succeeding. <laughs> oh shucks. That's really sweet of you. Now, uh, come on. These movies aren't going to watch themselves, are they? 